This week, I wanted to chat a bit about grief and grieving. It's been our topic um, this entire week, and I'm excited to share some of my ideas with you around grief and grieving. It's a topic that is really complex, and it's also one that most people avoid talking about. It makes us really uncomfortable, and we don't really know what to do with it most of the time. And so what happens is that we typically will hide our experiences of grief or our grieving process with people because we know that it makes other people really uncomfortable. Why are we so uncomfortable with it? So grief is in our DNA. We are wired to love. We're wired to have connection. We're wired to belong. So that's like in our DNA. This is how we survive is by being connected and belonging with other people. And grief is directly related to the loss of something we love or someone we love. So therefore, we're actually created to grief. We just don't do it really well. And maybe it's because Hollywood hasn't really made it a thing. And we have a lot more love stories that we're really focused on, um, but not so much around what that grief is or what grieving looks like. And so it's just not sexy. It's not fun. It's not entertaining. And it's really heavy. And it reminds us of loss. And we typically want to avoid that. But here's the thing about grieving is that we will all do it. We are all either currently in a state of grief or will be in a state of grief or have been in a state of grief. And the more we can create some awareness around it or talk about it, it normalizes it for you. It normalizes it for everybody. So the thing is that we want to like wrap it up into something pretty. And we all know like the five stages of grief. And we think that once you move through stages one to five, that somehow you get to stage five and everything's wrapped up in a pretty little bow and you can put it away and it's going to be fine. And then people are shocked when that's actually not the truth. It's not actually how it works. So if you lost somebody that you love and you care about, you don't stop loving that person. And therefore that grieving will go on forever. Will it ebb and flow? Absolutely. Will the intensity change? Yes. For sure it will. You can trust me that it's going to change. It's going to ebb and flow a bit like a roller coaster. There's some moments that are going to get really, really intense and then it's going to come down and then it's going to be slow for a while and then it's going to get really intense again. And then it's just going to do this for the rest of your life. Why? Because grief is directly related to the way that we love. And if we love passionately and we care about people and we want people in our lives, then this is going to change how you live life going forward. And so you will continue to grieve as you move forward and change requires some grief. And we are all in a state of change and we will always be in a state of change. And so every process that we go through, every single um, major transition, small transition will have a element of grief attached to it. And honoring that is really important because often the self-talk that comes with grief is that there's something wrong, that I should be over this by now, or other people expect you to be over it. And this whole over it, I don't really understand it because it doesn't really make a lot of sense. Somehow this term over it means that we don't no longer talk about it or no longer impacts me or that part of my life no longer has a place. But when a part of our life, so is that if it's a person that has passed, or there's been a massive change. So this can happen in divorce. It can happen in um, uh, families that break down. It can happen in a major job loss. It can happen in a major um, economic shift. We can, will grieve that life, that part of us that we really, really loved. And that doesn't end. Grieving that doesn't just end. The intensity will change, but we are connected through love to that person, to that life that we had. And therefore we're going to grieve it. And getting over it just doesn't happen. There's no forgetting it. There's no letting go of the attachment to that person. So if we can love someone beyond their life to the day that you die, to the day that I die, I can love all the people that are here and people are no longer here present, then I will grieve for the rest of my life. And instead of fighting that, instead of trying to package it and make it pretty in some sort of way, what if we just embrace that, that we can also experience joy and grief at the same time, that we can love and grieve at the same time, that we are complex human beings and can do complicated things and experience multiple emotions at the same time. There's more contentment in being able to live in that place 
versus trying to box up grief in one space, move through it somehow, and then get to the other side where it's like rainbows and butterflies and somehow trying to forget this. That's not how it works. Grief is something that you do lifelong. And is it pretty all the time? Absolutely not. Is it hard sometimes? Yes, it's very, very hard. But you are built to do hard things. We're all built to do very hard things. And we are built for grieving. We are built to grieve, just like we're built to love. And so I want you to take this into consideration if you think of the things that you're grieving, or the people that you're grieving in your life, or the people that you're missing in your life, that's directly related to love. And you can hold both these things at the same time. And there will be some intensity. And then intensity will ebb and flow, and it'll go away. And it'll get intense again at some point. And that having some comfort with this, accepting this as the human experience, you will get rid of that critical thought, that critical um, thinking and the critical voice that tells you that you should be over it or that you don't, you shouldn't be able to talk about it anymore. Um, I want you to give yourself permission to grieve as you need to grieve in whichever manner you need to do it and allow yourself the freedom of expression and that grief is connected to love. <laughs>